Now with the top coat mixed up uh, to a creamy paste, you can see it in there, we don't need much for this, um, the consistency should be that it doesn't fall off the, off the broad knob. You don't want it too stiff and you don't want it too loose. Um, if it's too uh, runny, then it doesn't uh, blend evenly and it doesn't uh, cover up any imper imperfections. <coughs> we just start off any loose or rough surfaces to the repair all around the edge so it blends nicely take a smaller mouth put on a flat towel or hawk depends on which one you like to use I like to put it into a nice little ball into the centre so it doesn't run everywhere and just apply it you can apply it with a trowel Depends, personal preference. As long as you cover the whole patch and get it wide enough to blend it into the surroundings, then uh, the job will be done. You just evenly apply the compound to the wall, keeping the blade nice and flat. And ensuring that you feather around the edges. The, uh, the final top coat is sandable. It's a drying compound, not a setting compound, and it's quite soft, so you can get a nice, smooth, even finish. You can see how quick it is, any imperfections, um, and just be sanded out afterwards. Um, not that there's much in here to sand out. Um, really what you're looking for is to make sure there are no holes or dips in your repair because you can't sand those out, you have to go back and patch them again. I can see I've got one in there, so I just put a tiny bit on there. And just run it over again, nice and flat, and that'll be gone. Clean up the edges. And it's ready for sanding. And that's how you repair a plasterboard hole, yeah, a hole in a plasterboard wall, um, covering a patch. The bigger the... Um, uh, the bigger the patch, the more it blends in uh, without going crazy. But as long as you've got it nice and feathered all around the edge and you can see that it dries nice and evenly from a nice light tone through to a more solid tone, and you can see that the tape's been completely hidden. When it's sanded, you don't sand too much because you can bring the tape back out and that gives you other problems and you have to patch it again. So um, that's basically the whole uh, box and dice. Thanks very much.